Oh, cute. Hey. You need a little show off, aren't you? You need a little show off, eh? Showing off by rolling over. Looking real cute so we can pet you. I love cats. Puss, 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 puss. Oh, cute. Cute, huh? Good kitty. Yeah, there was a. I got this uh, CRT hook up to a battery. The heaters are these two top pins here. And that's the uh, red, red, and blue guns all together. So I hook up to the battery with the red net terminals. And they're all on, all glowing. What I'm gonna do now, hook the NST up to it and see what sort of um, effects I get in the screen. Now when doing these sorts of experiments, be aware of x-rays. So. Generally the NST is about 12 kV, it's not enough to produce x-rays if you put in something stupid like a 300 kV, three one of these, like with a proper x-ray transformer, you got to use appropriate shielding. As with uh, Andy or photonic induction did with the uh, CRT monitor. With silly amounts of volts like that, there's x-rays going all over the place, so you got to take caution when doing things like this. And also be careful not to drop the bloody CRT either, this is going to be a bit risky so I've got to get it balanced all right. Should be alright sitting like that, it's pretty well balanced so let's see what um result I get with the picture. I might even whack a deflection the deflection call back on and see if I can draw some etch -a sketch lines and burn the phosphorus and draw a permanent picture on the screen if it's possible. Okay if you was this little modern flyback I got donated in that box of goodies a while ago has one of those clipping type leads just completely clipped it out stuck it on the back that's my NST wire, it's a, I think it's a 30kV, yeah, 30kV rated. I happen to, um, I've run out of these little uh, anode caps, so it's the only one I got. They're pretty warm. I'm going to, before I run any experiments, I'm going to put the multimeter on through here and see how much um, current those heaters uh, draw, just for, see, uh, curiosity. Yeah, the viewers, let's connect the multimeter. Okay, they're on. There you go, one amp. Just over an amp that the um, heat is consumed. There you go. Alright, before I turn this thing on, I'm going to hook up an uh, earth lead and a discharge lead for safety. Have yours? Let's connect the heaters. Okay, they're on. Ground discharge safety uh, discharge lead is on. Everything's connected. Let's plug the NST in and see what happens. Oh. Yeah, not quite enough volts, not dark enough. When I turn it on, you see it flashing around the corner of the screen there. Yeah, it's not quite dark enough to see anything interesting happening on the screen. Definitely some x-rays coming out of the back of that, that's so got to be careful. There you go, some lightning in the corner of the screen there. I'll unplug safety first. Discharge our device. Whoops. It is AC, so it may not charge, but just take caution and be careful. Always check before you touch. See some bloody virtually kill you, the high voltage charge the CRT can store. I'm going to close the door and see what, um, if we can see it any better. Poor, it's not the ozone. Okay, if you also turn the power on and see what happens now. Oh. Hang on, it's got too close to the corner there, it's arc through and got to the, uh, directly to the ground there. Just a picture on the screen. Interesting. 
interesting. You see, depending on the arc, the um, picture changes a bit in the middle. You won't get a good red, green, and blue effect if you don't plug the uh, gun heaters in. No better than your salt water capacitors. Corona on the speaker wheel. Alright, power off. Unplug. Discharge. Just double check, you never know. Disconnect the gun, now see what happens. The heaters, I mean. No heaters, this sort of does a no heater. Yeah, same result. I'm going to follow what the other pins do. I'll see if I can actually get something out of the gun. Some red, green and blue dots into it. Looks cool, right? We've got a blue dot on the screen. No heater. Power off. Oh, small eye zone. Discharge. There you go. Just had a little pop there. Didn't have to touch that and it didn't discharge. I touched it here and it discharged. So now we're properly discharged. Alright, viewers, that'll be uh, enough for now. So thanks for watching.